Trust the process. Don't rush the process. If you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times. My issue with you is that you keep letting that profound statement go in one ear and right out the other. And since that's the case, I need you to put a finger in one ear as you listen into this. That way, you can capture every word that I'm saying. So you keep letting self-doubt enter into your mental. I'm telling you right now to your face, stop it, stop it, stop it. You were born to be spectacular. You were born to be phenomenal. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are breathtaking. You are a work of art, a masterpiece. I have faith in you. I believe in you. We have faith in you. We believe in you. Now I just need you to have faith in yourself. I need you to believe in yourself. I get it. I get it. You're not quite where you want to be at as it relates to a certain class. So what? Now what? I'll tell you now what. Now it's time for you to dig deeper. It's time for you to ask more questions, spend more time in study hall, create a winner's circle of people that are succeeding in the class that you're struggling in and stick to them like glue. Because what will not happen is quit. What will not happen is failure. What will not happen is you dropping out. What will happen is you're going to do everything that you can in your power to make sure that you are making it through this class. You're going to do everything in your power to make sure that you're making it through this tough situation because winners win. I keep telling y'all, winners like us only have two options in any scenario. We either win or we learn. Therefore, if you get a bad grade on a test, if you get a bad grade on an essay, if you get a bad grade on a research paper, if you get a bad grade for a semester, you never look at that as a failure or a loss. You look at it as an opportunity to learn. You look at it as an opportunity to grow and you take a short period. You gotta take a short period to, to release it, to let it go, to blow the steam off. And then you get excited, and I mean super excited about taking what you learn, applying it, and seeing a success that is undoubtedly headed your way. Lock in with me. The choice to succeed is as simple as A, B, C, one, two, three. And right now, I need you to listen because we are going to go from A to Z. And I dare you, yes you, to make a choice and choose to change. Average to a mess, broken into booming, confusion into clarity, desperation into domination, endangered into exceptional, failure into first class, give up into go-getter, hopeless into hungry, nah, nah, I gotta say it like Les Brown, you gotta be hungry. And what that means is your classroom has to be like your favorite place to eat. You got to eat it. You got to drink it. You got to see the success. You got to live the success. You got to breathe the success. And you got this. And that's why you made the decision to change introverted into influence. Jacked up into jaw dropping. Knocked out into knowledge yourself. Last place into the leader of the pack. Minor into major. No chance at the next level. Out of touch into outstanding. This is just a reminder of how powerful words can be as it relates to our mindset. So I need you to kill that negativity and speak that positivity into existence because those that can weather the storm, those that can fight through the adversity, those that can push through the problems are putting themselves in a position to prosper and winners like you understand. And that's why you chose to turn pain into passion, power and purpose. Put his mentality into quality lifestyle, regret into redemption, sadness into superstar status, terrible into terrific, unlikely into upward bound, vindictive into victory, weakness into winning formula, x out into extraordinary. I know, I know, they start with E, but they're pronounced with an X, so we gonna make it work. Yearning into yes, you can. And finally, from zero into Zynormous. And that's how you go to the next level and win, not only in the classroom, but in every aspect of your life.